You will require a top loading balance, a weigh boat, a brush, a scrupula or spatula, and your desired chemical. Start off by taking the brush and sweep off any debris that may be left on the top of the top loading balance. Make sure to be very thorough when cleaning it. After settled, be sure to re-tear it. Start off by taking your weigh boat and placing it on the top loading balance. Wait for it to settle out, and then re-tear it. Next, take your desired substance and your scupula and scoop in the specific amount that you need. Make sure not to spill any of it onto the top loading balance and that all of it remains in the weigh boat. You will require a brush, a scupula, and two different weigh boats, as well as your analytical balance. Make sure the doors are closed in the analytical balance room before weighing anything. Start off by placing your weigh boat onto the top loading balance and tear it. Now, add your sample to the required amount. In this case, one gram. If you have any extra sample, do not place this back into the container you got your sample from. Instead, place this directly into a separate weigh boat and place this into the contaminated waste bin. You don't want to cross-contaminate your sample. Start by opening all three sides of the analytical balance. Take your brush and gently brush off the top and then remove the top plate and continue brushing very lightly over the sensor and all around, removing any debris that could be present. Replace the plate and you're ready to start weighing. Make sure to tear. Open the analytical balance and place your sample and weigh boat inside. Make sure all the doors on the analytical balance are closed. Once it is settled, Make sure to record this value. Once finished, you need to remove the weigh boat from the analytical balance and pour this directly into your reaction flask. Make sure to get out as much as possible. Next, replace your weigh boat with residue into the analytical balance. Close it and record this value.